Capricorn, getting ready to do your reading. This is for the beginning of July. This is for Capricorn, the energy around you at the time, what's coming in for you, what could happen. All right, so Capricorn, Capricorn, what are the messages for Capricorn? What do they need to know for July? Okay, page of Cups, Three of Coin, Temperance, Five of Coin, Hierophant, Justice. Okay, you are the King of Wands in this reading, so that maybe you're out doing something, you're taking action, you're on the right path, you want to be happy, Nine of Cups, your outcome is the Queen of Coins. So, I mean, technically that's your energy, but you may uh, meet up with an Earth sign, like yourself, or Virgo, Taurus, another Capricorn. Um... The wand signs, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So what is the page of cups? Did you meet someone? Do you want to offer them love? Page of cups. Manifesting. Yeah, you're waiting for love. Something you wanted. You want to meet someone new, I feel. Um, three of coin. Two of cups. So you want to work with someone or work together with some of the two of cups. You want to... Um, my three of coin is being admired because he's being admired in this. Um, you want someone maybe to like you want a relationship where someone like acknowledges you and admires you. Um, maybe in the past you felt you know you felt left out in the cold. You felt like no one cared. Three of coin people are like looking at you and and they're praising you or something along that line or you're feeling like acknowledged and loved. In that sense, okay, what is temperance? Temperance. Temperance, we know, is being patient and waiting. Yeah, you've been waiting for that right relationship. You've been waiting for the lover's card. Okay, five of coins. You're probably feeling left out in the cold right now, maybe. Um, yeah, you either, you've been putting effort into something. It could have been an old relationship or love or dating, but you don't feel like putting effort into it anymore. So you do feel alone right now. What is the Hierophant? Queen of Swords. So you may be with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, maybe they are very cold and distant. Um, it could be in a relationship, a marriage, some type of a committed relationship right now. Or this may be... Maybe very focused on that. Maybe you want to get married, and so you're putting all your energy to on in a, for to get married or for a relationship. Um, what is justice? The devil. So maybe this is something that you're in and you want to leave. Why is the devil here? Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you want to move away from this energy, and you feel it's time. So what is the King of Wands? Ten of Swords. So something is completely over. So this is interesting because this is kind of your energy. So something's over and you're getting ready to move, to move on, to look for something new. You could have also ended something with the, a wand sign, like I said, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But that is supposed to be the position of what you're doing, what you're thinking. Star. You're moving away and you're on the right path. So you're looking for new love and you're going about it the right way. So have hope and faith. Something, something will happen. You're hoping for Nine of Cups, but you're afraid of Seven of Swords. So you're you're hoping to fall in love and be happy, but you're afraid of lies, deceit, deception out there. Maybe maybe when you're dating or getting to know people um, or in the relationship. Because for some of you, you may have just met this person. And you may just be now dating and you're really, you know, being careful. You know, what is it? Is it the devil or is it the Wheel of Fortune? You know, what what are you getting yourself into? You know, okay, Queen of Coin, Queen of Coin. Three of Cups, having fun, dating, being happy, being thankful, going out. Um, so you may be dating an Earth sign. Ten of Wands, maybe this, you know, dealing with love and relationships is a big burden for you. You don't really feel like you want to go through all this. Um, what else? I think sometimes dating and new people can be hard. Ten of coin. Okay, so two ten. So it looks like something's ending also with both these here. 
10 of coin can mean long term. You want something long term. But with two tens, I feel like something else may be ending and you're going to have more freedom. You're going to be able to go out. Um, yeah, you're not looking for 10 of wands. You want 10 of coin, long term, maybe commitment for some of you. Some of you. I don't think all of you. Well, you know, we all want different things. So maybe some of you just want to date, while others of you want something long term. And it's hard to find that perfect match, that person that wants what you want. Because you're, like I said, you're worried about maybe people who don't have your best interests in mind when you're dating. You want to find someone who's, you know, again, loving and kind. So don't give up hope. You're going in the right direction. I feel like some of you are trying to date and you're not having much luck. Um, you date people and then, like, it's like, it's like, I feel like online dating is what I'm getting here. Like, it's just a pain in the ass. And this is how you feel. You know, trying to find that right person, trying to find that needle in the haystack. And it's just like a, just a pain. It's like, what are you going to get next time? But you're ready for love and you're looking for love. You're tired, I feel, of being alone. Um, I feel like you're like, this is your energy, ready to get back out there and date for some of you. I know it's a king, but either way, you're ready to get back out there and try meeting someone new. So again, with you being your own outcome, I read that as, you know, that's a good sign. You're coming very strong in your own energy. Do what's best for you. You are your own outcome. Um, and again, it could be an earth, another earth sign like yourself that you meet also with that. So Capricorn, that is your reading. Have a great week and take care.